we plug it in, we turn it on, and it works. But the electricity we're using was produced at that very moment at a power plant miles and miles away. Let's take a look at the complex system of wires and transformers required to get electricity from the power plant to your house instantly. Much like there are different types of roads depending on the distance you're going to travel, there are different types of lines depending on how far the electricity has to travel. As it leaves the power plant, the electricity gets on the interstate highway of electric lines. These transmission lines are designed to carry a great amount of electricity, hundreds of thousands of volts, the many miles from the power plant to your home. Think of voltage like the speed of your car. Transmission lines carry high voltage electricity long distances, just like interstate highways are used by fast moving cars to go long distances. The higher the voltage, the farther the electricity can travel. As the electricity nears the area where it will be used, it is transferred to smaller lines. And just like cars go through an interchange to get off the interstate highway and onto smaller highways, the electricity goes through a substation where the voltage is reduced so that it can travel on smaller lines. At these lower voltages, the electricity is distributed to where it will be used. Keep in mind that the poles that distribute the electricity are often also used by phone and cable TV companies to distribute their signals. The electricity is distributed at a voltage that is still too high for homes to use. So again, there's a substation that decreases the voltage. The electricity can now travel on the lines that run through your neighborhood. But just as the speed limit on your street is too fast to pull into your garage, the voltage must again be reduced before you can use it safely in your home. The final voltage reduction takes place on a pole-mounted transformer, or in the case of underground service, a pad-mounted transformer. The electricity is now at a voltage that can be safely used in your home. The lines that connect directly to your house are called a service drop. An overhead service is generally a twisted set of three wires. Usually, the service drop is connected to the home with a knob. The knob supports the weight of the wires, and the electrical connection is made at the weather head. The weather head is designed to prevent rain from getting down into the wires, leading to the meter base. The meter base is the box that the electric meter is plugged into. The electricity travels through the meter, which records the amount being used, and into your home, where it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We know that electricity has become an absolute necessity to go about our daily lives. And we're constantly working to ensure that the entire system of lines and poles and substations and transformers is ready to supply the electricity you need all the time.